Hi there, it's Andy from GM Car Sales here, just doing a short virtual test drive on a Mini Cooper that we have in stock at the moment. Uh, looking around the car, the car's interior is in excellent condition. The uh, car has had one previous owner with a full service history. Uh, looking a wee bit at the technology in the car, you've got front electric windows, electric mirrors, uh, as you'd expect. You've got uh, automatic windshield wipers, uh, volume control for the radio and Bluetooth for your telephone uh, and cruise control. Car comes with a DAB radio. Just turn it up here. Nice and clear. Another nice wee feature that you can see there is around the center console, the lights not light up. But see if you're turning it down, the light goes down, turn it up, the light goes up. It's quite a nice funky feature. Uh, air conditioning's on at the moment. It's nice, blown nice and cool. Um, you've got your green and sport modes down here. You can see it's a start-stop, keyless entry with two keys, six-speed manual. So what I'm going to do just now is just take it on a short wee drive as you would on a test drive, a uh, bit of joke carriageway and try and simulate some town driving best I can. So just pull away. Clutch. Feels really good. It's quite heavy but again that is a sort of a characteristic of minis. They have quite a heavy clutch. The petrol engine's quite punchy. So we're pulling up to the junction. Brakes are good in the car. The car has had an RAC check and it's all come back good on the car as you would expect. Uh, Mini Cooper with quite low mileage, only 7,151 miles on the clock. That's a sitting at 30 miles an hour. A little bit of road noise, but again, larger wheels with lower profile tyres. You can expect a little bit of noise, but nothing that's none that's off putting if you had the radio and you wouldn't hear it. Steering as well, we're just coming up to a roundabout, so what I'll do here is I'll go right round the roundabout uh, let you sort of describe how the car feels and um, when it's been driven. But as you, also as you can hear there's no knocks, bangs or anything for the suspension, nothing coming from the steering at all either. So we'll go right round. And again, like most minis, it feels really planted, minimal body roll. It's, it's quite a big roundabout, so you're getting a wee bit of roll but again it's nothing that you would, wouldn't expect from any car so we're in fourth gear and it's a 40 zone so we'll speed up to 40 here that's at 40 there no issues nice nice and punchy uh, going up through the gears we're in fifth at the moment and I've not had a single problem with any of the gears so far so the gearbox you would say is in all in good condition visibility around the mini it's very good. Uh, pillars are quite chunky in the front, but it doesn't obstruct your view. Um, viewing around the car as well, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, the visibility around the car is very good as well, so you've got good spatial awareness in the car. Rear visibility is slightly limited, I uh, don't know if you can see in the mirror there, just trying to show you. It's quite a small window, but it's not uh, a negative, it's just a design feature on the car. It's just the way that it is on minis, quite small. But no, the, the dash layout's very nice. Uh, it's all very stylish. You can see there with the sort of like Czech carbon fiber look. I don't know if you call it that sort of dash. But again, minis, they're just very stylish cars. Nice to drive. It's just very good to, it's just a very nice car. All in all. So what we're doing here at the junction is I'm going to take a left at the next just here and that will take us down onto the dual carriageway and that will sort of simulate just best I can a bit of motorway driving just to let you know how the car gets up to speed and how it sounds so let's go down here so we're in first gear into second about 50 miles an hour put the foot down so it's up to third at 40 fourth at about 55 fifth at 60 We'll stay there just now until we signal to come out. So come out. I'll pop it in the sixth gear. And that's the cruise control activated. Just to deactivate, you can hit the button to switch it off or press the pedals and that switches it off automatically. Uh, it's just a wee safety feature on, on minis just to make sure you're not... Um, you know, you're not you're not not paying attention and it's just going to keep going it'll cut out 
on the cruise control. So as you heard there, we were up about 70 miles an hour, just, just shy of 70, and there was no real loud noises, a bit of road noise, but it's not, it's not deafening and it's not terrible. And shifting down the gears as well, it was uh, nice and smooth to shift down. You saw in the video, it was nice and smooth. There was no lurches, no crunches. Um, yeah, so changing up through the gears is nice and smooth. Changing down to the gears is nice and smooth. Coming off the junction here, we're going to go into Inveramond Industrial Estate, where we're based. Uh, just to try and simulate best I can some town driving. The roads in here are a wee bit rough, so it'll give you an idea of, sort of what it's like to live day by day with a car. Uh, on the roads, as we know, they are quite rough. I'll be quite here, there is a large bump coming up, so just to let you know what it's going to be like. So again, the car's absorbed it, you felt it, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, and it's not too loud, there was no noise coming from the suspension, which is excellent. Again, like I said, it's sitting about 30 miles an hour. It's nice and quiet, nice to drive. Let's so get up here. We're going to turn left, and that'll take us into one of the side roads, and that'll just sort of give us a chance to sort of do a bit of um, what I try and try and simulate best I can some town driving. So you've got maybe some traffic where you've got to stop or give way or pull out. It's just to let you know that this, how the steering feels. The steering feels pretty good. So there's no lurching, no crunches, no bangs. I'll just test it here. There's no cars behind me. Just to test the brakes, just to show you. Let's have a more emergency stop. So there's a wee bit of ABS kicking in there, and that's working well. So it's just to show a bit for, for, your, for safety, really, that the car is safe. And like I said, I had been checked over uh, by our technicians and was given a good clean bill of health. Again, it's a wee bit punchy there, just put the foot down a wee bit just to show you know, if you needed to overtake maybe a cyclist quickly or or a bus on a on a wee bit of side road you can get past safely and quickly and um, it's always good to have a car that's just got a wee bit oomph to it and it just makes it that wee bit more safer for you overtaking if you're on a country road or anything Just coming back to the branch now after a short wee test drive. There we are there. So if you enjoyed that short wee drive uh, and you'd like to give us a call, please feel free to call us on 01738 248080 or visit us at gmcarsales.co.uk. Thank you.